problem I have seen in so many Christian marriages eh, is romance. It is the problem. I see the mention of the name romance is sinful. But that is not true. As long as it is in marriage, between two people that are legally married, come on, you free to romance. It is not a sin. Romance is godly. Oh my God, I wish I could go to this rooftop and scream that romance is godly. Come on. It is godly. It is beautiful. Ah. Romance is godly. Thank you. My name is Lizio Yobola Yakubo Mrs. Yax, and I'm delighted to have you here. If this is your first time on this channel, I welcome you with so many romances. <laughs> now, I welcome you in the name of the Lord. Can you subscribe to this channel, okay? So you do not miss out when new videos drop, okay? And if you are already a subscriber, <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you so much for stopping by again. Thank you for being loyal. Thank you for being so sweet. Kindly, let's interact together in the comment section, okay? And do not forget to like this video. I'm very excited to have you here. And today, we are talking about something so important. I really do not want to take much of your time, no. I want to go straight to the point. How can I keep the romance in my Christian marriage alive? It's going dead. How can I make this thing work? I'm going to be talking to the guy, I'm going to be talking to the ladies, I'm going to be talking to mummies, and I'm going to be talking to daddies. It is not too late to keep your marriage, to, to bring the romance alive, okay? That romance you had probably at the beginning of your wedding, of your marriage, you can actually bring it back now that you are old in the marriage, okay? And sissy and brother, guy and ladies, <laughs> this is your time to shine, and you cannot kill it, you can't kill your shine, do you understand? So today we're going to be looking at how to keep the romance fire actually body in our Christian marriages. So if you're a single lady, you're a single guy, no, don't run away from this video. This video is for you as well. You can learn a lot about it. If I was a single, I would probably sit down very, very attentive to this video because I'm, I'm always actually learning. My ears are actually always ready to pick up one or two things that can make my home a Christian home indeed. So do not run away. Hmm. We want you to be in marriages. Stay tuned and don't go away. Number one, how was your day? How was your day is a question that is deep. You shouldn't just say, how was your day? And you're going to the kitchen, that's all. Or, oh, how was your day? And you're like, if she answers, fine. If he doesn't answer, no. It is actually, an, it's supposed to be an intentional question. Sitting down like, oh, sweetheart, how was your day? Oh, my darling wife, how was your day? Tell me about your day. No, don't just ask that question like a cliche and then go, no. When you want to find out if somebody's day went well or not, you have to be intentional about it. Sit down with your spouse and ask, can you tell me about your day? Till the person speaks out. It should be a norm in your marriage. So, that is number one. How was your day? Should be an intentional question. So number two, it would be good for you to talk about sex. Talk about your sexual life. Talk about it. Okay, okay, okay. So where do you prefer me to touch you? Okay, so you mean if I touch you here, yeah, you don't like it? No, I don't. That place turns me off. That place turns me on. Oh my God. Oh, talk about it. Come on. It is not ungodly. It is beautiful. Enjoy the wife of your youth. Enjoy the husband of your youth. Drink water from your own sister and my friend. What is, what is bad in asking that kind of question? What do you want me to touch you? Come on! Remove all those cultural something that would hinder your... Talk about it. Do you want me to touch you here? Do I bombard you here? Do I... <laughs> I thought we would laugh why... Of course it might be shy at the beginning. Of course, it might. But over time, as long as you make your spouse feel good about it. Oh, over time, you see the person also opening up to you. Do you get? So, talk about it. Please pray about it. Pray about it. Once, once you realize that there's something that is, that is going to be contrary to a romantic 
marriage in your own life or in your partner's life pray about it god my husband does is not romantic i pray for him oh god i am not romantic probably because of my background probably because of this probably because of that pray about it do you know prayers can actually set your romantic life on fire I've personally said that prayer before in my life that God I want to be romantic ah I want to be <laughs> and I can see the prayer working <laughs> number four employ those little touches it goes a long way to help it is not only when you're in bed you touch her it is not only when you're in bed you touch him come on she's in the kitchen washing plate at the sink bang the bomb bomb yes Tickle her. She is had the laptop working or is cleaning up the refrigerator for you, for you. Come on, go do some things there. Go touch him. Those little touches. It could just actually be a, something like this or a tickle. But no matter what it is, make use of those little touches. Those little touches actually keep the fire burning. Don't eradicate the touches. It works. Even in church. Probably you, you, you both are not sitting together. You could just walk over to, to his side or her side probably in the choir or whatever and then you are, you were to pass by her side just you know keep greeting her touching her it's because you just see the person blushing <laughs> especially when other people are seeing her and they're like oh yeah oh <laughs> it's got a long way to help so actually walking around in the house don't keep your hands just keep it to yourself no come on employ your hands to do the touching it's got a long way to help it could also be your lips Mwah. 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 It's because the language will help. Those little touches matter. Come on. What is Christian marriage without some wonderful romance? Those are what we call romance. It's not making. Let's go on. Number five, I don't want you to stick to a pet name. No. Dia, 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 honey, honey. This itself has lost the meaning. No. Come on. When you call him dear today, call him a darling tomorrow, call him sweetheart next tomorrow, call him my husband. Call him names that mean to you do you know some people have even forgotten that my darling actually means something deep my darling my darling oh my dad even the name has changed my darling like people will even think are you saying madam or what what are you saying come on put some life into the pet names you call your husband or your wife do you understand that is christianity call the person wonderful names that means a lot to you Oh God, my husband. Do you know my husband could be so romantic? It depends on the kind of voice you use and the kind of mood that you used to say. Do you understand? <laughs> so don't just stick to one till it loses its whole um, essence. Do you understand? Come on, appreciate the effort and learn to apologize. No, no, those are the things that keep your fight, the fire of romance, romance burning. Do you understand? Appreciate her, appreciate him. Let you apologize to your spouse. It goes a long way to help you. Oh my god, you helped me to iron my jacket. Thank you. Oh, you're such a darling. What would I have done without you? It goes a long way to help. You might just think the thing is just passing. No, but that thing rings the bell in the air head of your spouse as it's going around through the day. He's happy that okay, I ironed. You can even tell your friend, I ironed my wife's jacket today. I did, you know. You know, it's it's it's, it's beautiful. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Do you know today? I polished my husband's shoe, and this is the first time I actually polished shoe in my entire life. It goes a long way to help. Both of you will be filled with the touch of each other. Do you understand? Let's move to the next point now. So, when you're praying, learn to hold your spouse and touch the person slightly. Father, we worship you because you are Lord. Sorry, the husband is not here. So I would have just been practicalizing. So touch the person and you know, Father, thank you because it's not compulsory to touch the facial face. So I can't be touching my body. You might not see the whole of my body. So I worship you because all oh, those touches and by the time you finish, people finish praying like this, the woman might just say, Oh, it's time to go to bed. Let's go to bed now now. Or the mama say, ah, we are to the bed. <laughs> So it's not all the time you do that during prayers, do you understand? But sometimes probably you're praying for her or for pray for him personally. Of course, you should learn to pray for your spouse. Yeah? Laying hands on such or embracing such and praying and romancing him as you pray. It's not compulsory you go too deep. Just do something slightly and then the person might not even know you're intentionally doing it. You might just think you have you have gone into some uh, the, into the heavenlies. 
but not knowing that you're actually still here. Do you understand? So it goes a long way to also help. Number eight, don't make surprises a one man affair. Some people, it is only their husband, 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 they will surprise every time. All their wives will be the most surprising every time. Come on, you two, do something. Surprise you. It shouldn't be one person doing it at every time. Come on, stand up and do something, okay? So number nine, I said you should cease each other with your bodies, okay? Cease each other with your bodies. It could probably be at the wardrobe, he's doing something, and you're just using your bum bum to shake his own bum bum, and he's like, oh my god, what's wrong with it? Because it's, it, all these small things help, so I'm telling you, it helps. Uh -huh. Or you could just, maybe you want to dress up or something like that, and you naturally go and stand in front of him, or you stand in front of her, and you're just removing your clothes, or you're wearing something, and it's like, oh my god, what is this? They might do that. Oh god. Oh, but you know, the thing is, thing is going inside. Tease each other like that. You understand? Or you can dance with the palsy. Dance with the palsy. <laughs> I said that your mom was good, Jim. You get. So that is just it. Tease each other with your bodies. It goes a long way to also help. You understand? So number 10, make sure you create time to be alone together. You just want to be alone. No phone, no TV, no laptop, no body, no book, no newspaper, nothing. The children are somewhere else. You're focusing on this person alone. Both of you are just discussing. Maybe you're discussing, oh, do you remember our reception? Do you know I remember something? Oh, oh guy, the first day I met your mom. Oh, oh God. Just talk about something that both of you can actually relate to and then you can just laugh over it heals your soul oh the first time i met you ah oh, jesus christ just have time alone together okay try to create time alone together it great it helps it helps please please number 11 do chores together house chores do them together. You want to wash plates. Oh, let me follow you, my darling. Let's wash the plate together. Oh, my honey. Are you washing your car? Come on, I'm going to be washing with you. Hey, 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 don't join me to wash this car. Because instead of us spending 25 minutes, that's how we spend one hour. And you're like, eh, so now maybe that to carry hose. And you start wetting wet, wet him or wetting her. It goes a long way to help. It is not every time you just remain your Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Okay, ma. Mobile. Yes. No, that's not it. That's not, that's not how it's supposed to be. Do something that is romantic together. Eh, things that you can't even do together. Volunteer to help. And the way you would react or she would react to say, eh, oh, help me a bit. It will make you even laugh. You understand? So those house chores, you can actually help together to do them. Do you get? Husband, join your wife. Wives, join your husband. Thank you so much. So jump at each other. Jump at him. Jump at him, especially probably when you want to settle a score. You know you've done something that is not right. Your spouse is not happy with you. He's, he's probably giving you some attitude. Like, you're like, sweetheart, yes. How can I help you? Did I say I need your help? I just want to be alone. Just jump at him. Angry, 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 angry. Jump at him. Please. Please, if you can't play in your marriage, I don't know what you're doing. You can't pray, you can't play. How is the romance going to be? Jump at him. Do all as he's rejecting you, you are doing it deeper. It goes a long way to help, especially the guys. Please, sometimes if your pri the bride is not making you to be able to say I'm sorry, because I'm sorry actually sounds outdated at some point. It doesn't always work. That's one thing you should learn. I'm sorry doesn't always work. <laughs> so sometimes all this touching might work might work. Do you understand? So just jump at the person and oh my darling, don't be angry with me. Don't be angry with me and stuff like that. It goes a long way to help. Yeah, so the next point is break the tradition. Probably in your house, when you people wake up, the person will the, the, uh, the wife will sweep the floor. You could just wake up that very morning and sweep the, the floor. Or probably the first thing your husband does when he wakes up is that he opens all the windows. Why don't you do it? And then he wakes up, he's like, if you open this video, like this is the first time in how many years I married you, this woman. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, so you know, what you appreciate, you say thank you, you say thank you, say thank you. Say thank you. It's because a little bit of hell. It does. It does. Do you understand? So break the tradition. Probably she's the one that is always going to shock and oh, Come on, pick up the basket and go shop. Do you get it? It, it, it helps to you get or sometimes so, um, uh, sometimes probably the husband that washes the car and then you just wash the car and even if you don't you don't wash it well just that trial makes it. so break the tradition come out of the shell come on it, it helps it helps 
So number 14 is renew your vows to each other. It is not that you should go and carry your marriage uh, program and start renewing. No, that's not what I mean. What I mean is, what is the major vow? What, what exactly is your command? Is God's command to you as a man? That you love her as Christ, love the church and give himself for you. Right? What is God's command and God's, God's covenant with you, dear woman? Just to submit to your husband as unto the Lord. Do you understand? So renewing this actually helps. When you just wake up, you wake her up with a peck and you're like, ah. Oh. So you are the one that God gave to me to love and to cherish, to hold, to love as Christ loved the church. I make promises to you today, my darling wife, that I won't feel God. Do you think she'll just say, eh, I don't care. No, she won't. When she's not a devil, she'll feel so good. She'll feel so amazed. She'll be like, thank you. I pray, I pray God will help me to, to love you. I want to, I want to submit to you. I want to just, I want to take you as my Lord. It goes a long way to help. If you're going to be making your marriage work, remind yourself that you are in a covenant with God. Do you understand? So number 15, I want to remind you that PDA is godly. That is public display of affection. It is godly. Please show her some love outside. Show your husband some love and respect outside. Everybody is watching and suddenly you just you just hug him or suddenly you place a peck on the... It is not rare anymore. We only see that among unbelievers and it's a shame. You come out of, you, an unbeliever comes out of this vehicle and just places a peck on his wife's forehead and you push him because you are holy and righteous. You just say, okay, my wife, uh -huh, let's go. Mommy, you can. Okay. No, no. It doesn't just make all this. It doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't. Public display of affection is very beautiful. Personally, when I was growing up, I saw so many public displays of affection in some homes. Do you understand? And it made me to feel that. Hey, this Christian marriage. We must do the we must do it together. So you must actually be giving people some people hope. Do you understand? By showing some public display of affection. It's beautiful. You're not doing it for anybody's sake. But that your spouse will so much appreciate it if you can show the whole world how much she means to you. Do you understand? And that leads me to the next point. Make sure your family and friends know how important your spouse is to you. Do you understand? Make them to understand that you can't toy with her. You can't toy with him. It is not a toy. Nobody can come close and help you to play one brother at that play with your husband or play one play with your wife. No. It is everyone has to respect her. This is the person I love. This is the person that gives me joy. This is the person that God gave to me. He gave to me over all of you. You people are special to me, but this one is more special. This one is the one that I have a covenant with. Do you understand? So make everyone to understand that. Make your friends and family to understand that. And do not forget the last point. Public display of affection is beautiful. Okay, so the next point, make sure your spouse knows that you're thinking of him or her. Do you understand? For example, you might be at work and then you just send a particular sticker, funny sticker to, the, to her or to him. And he's like, sorry, what does this sticker even mean? And like, you know, think deeply. You could just start a chat from there. He or she knows that you were thinking about him or her. For you to send that, do you get? Or you could just send a picture of yourself doing like this. I <laughs> send to him or her. It's meant the person be like, oh my god. Even the person might even laugh out like the com colleagues be like, what's up? What happened? I'm sorry, it's my husband. I I'm kind of why it's my wife. What happened, bro? J. Hi, my wife is just you know. It's cause I'm going to hell. Just show something or something like. But, um, or maybe just think it's from this moment, life has begun from this moment. You are the one right beside you, is where I belong from this moment. Oh, and then you just send it, I choose you over and over again. And you just say something, something playful like that, it helps. So just show your spouse you were actually thinking of him or her. So, number 18, please have a movie night at your home. Do you understand? You could just create a day, so a movie night. Probably it's a Christian movie, foreign or Nigerian, or not Christian movie, but moral, uh, movies full of moral lessons. You could just pick one of them and sit down beside each other and then you focus on it. Do you understand? And by the way, to make it more interesting, you could actually make some popcorns. 
it is more difficult to make popcorn let me teach you you just put sprinkle small oil inside uh inside your pot then you take popcorn the corn itself it is different from the corn that you used to make pap so just go to the market and buy popcorn put it inside the oil make sure that the the popcorn is well circulated in the oil okay put some salt, some salt and close it cover it don't go far away because very soon you'll start hearing pop 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 against the pot shake your pot together till you are not probably hearing much pops again bring it down you will see your popcorn is made do you understand to make it sweeter if you do not just want the one for salt eh? put butter margarine on fire after it has dissolved add some sugar to it don't allow it to caramelize okay bring it down and pour that mixture in your popcorn mix it together both of you sit down together with it and take it with some cocoa with some something healthy smoothie and something everywhere is dark and you're seeing the movie create it in your home it is not compulsory you go to a theater i probably do not even support that but do create something like that in your home it goes a long way to help do you understand so number 19 make sure you enjoy some great outdoors do you understand sometimes you could just want to go to the park and then just enjoy personally i mean i like i like being indoor but i also like being outdoor especially where everything is colorful i like it it just matters for me to be with people i love and just being together talk less of when you're with the person that your heart beats for oh my god what are you talking about go out to the cinemas or just go to the malls just show look around it's not compulsory you buy anything and if you have money just buy one or two things okay just move out the major reason why you're out is to bond it is actually to bond with your spouse do you understand so it's not compulsory you buy anything walk around the park go to the zoo check animals do you understand as you do that you could probably plug your ears and listen to some wonderful songs and it goes it helps it bonds please don't kill you of the romance in your family the romance is not all about sex and sex Rara. it is about putting each other in high esteem yes respecting each other putting each other first putting one another like you see the other person you hold that person in high esteem i honor you i respect you i um, as you know it's closer language to help don't make i love you to be a cliche in your home i love you all right thank you uh, no 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 make it special sometimes probably you said i love you too many too, more, too many times and you still offend your wife or you offend your husband that i love you might sound so much but going deeply to say maybe you're older or you hold him to stay and you're like i love you i love you so much i treasure you she will start saying, eh, <laughs> are you saying all this all, all, all of a sudden? Why? Yeah. Or you'll be like, oh my god, you're making my head go gaga. <laughs> so don't just make it, I love you. Say, okay, bye, thank you, I love you too, Rara. Make it spicy, I love you. Do you understand? And make it constant. Make it regular. Don't let it be once in a blue moon. It's not good. So 21, try to invest in smelling good. It's good. For example, buy some roll-ons, okay? In fact, start from your bathing soaps. Do you understand? Personally, when I go to the market, I buy soaps of different flavor. Different flavors. Chamomile, I like lavender, I like rose. I like different flavors like that. It goes a long way to help. So that from the bathroom, even as your spouse enters the bathroom, the smell alone is less of when it comes when you come out and you're like ah oh, you're smelling so good even when you wash your hair like everything smells so beautiful your hand paint everywhere everywhere smells nice someone can even hold you and like <sighs> so invest actually in smelling good um a roll on on your under your armpit uh, your 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 cream your cream i actually bought a cream that has lavender and chamomile together <laughs> it's absolutely it goes along with to help so 22 try to appreciate that particular part of the body that you like most in your spouse ah <laughs> you might think the person doesn't like it but the person does i just like the way your your hair is so curly i just like the way your lips are i just like the way this place is around i just like this place the way this place is flat <laughs> i just like the way this 
appreciate it and like, mm, I guess you you like it. You will see that he or she will want to show you that part more because you have boosted the person's um, self-esteem in that ramification, in that aspect. Do you understand? So try to work on that too. It helps. So dress up for each other. Do you know what that means? Like you could just wear something, a gown that probably shows your contour. Yeah, as a woman and as a man, probably a top, just a simple top and one small shorts like that. That also shows your own shape. As she likes it, as he likes it. Do you understand? And then after dressing up, he probably wakes up or he walks inside and is like, "Where are you going to?" And I'm like, "I'm not going anywhere. I just dressed up for me." Yeah, for you. You are special. You're my queen. You are my king. I decided to just surprise you. Are you serious? <laughs> Come on, tell me something. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, Barini, yeah. You have Barini shared your eyes. So that's because you already. You understand? As you do that like this, you will just be happy. <laughs> or she will just be happy. This, it helps. So dress up for each other. Mm -hmm. and, and that leads me to the next point. Try to also bathe together. It is not every time because you might actually destroy the, the, the fun of it. Try to go to the bathroom together and help each other to bait. Yes, bait for each other. It goes a long way to help. <laughs> so the last point I'm going to be mentioning in this video is that you send this video to your family and friends. That is also a part of you building a romantic family. <laughs> of course, if you send this to your spouse, he will in turn learn, learn some of these things here and he will bring it to, to some practical use in your family. Do you understand? And if you send it to your mom or your dad, they would work things out too so that the fire will also come alive. If you send this to your cousins and your nephews and your nieces, it goes a long way to help their own marriages as well. And of course, we are creating a family. We are creating a heaven of like a garden of Eden. For ourselves here on Earth again, okay? Because once your romance life comes alive, majority of issues will be solved. Do you get? Because all these things that we have mentioned today helps or encourages openness between couples. Do you understand? Or among couples, different couples. So it's, uh, it encourages openness and then communication. And these things in turn sparks up the love and unity and the beauty you'll be able to pray together you love each other you pray for each other you miss each other so many people don't even miss their spouses this is not going to go out this woman not going to go out now this and that those things should not be mentioned amongst us before i end this video i must actually have a shout out to my husband my darling because um many people will see me and say oh romantic lazy <laughs> actually I'm, I'm 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 romantic i told you i prayed about it and then by God's grace, I'm, I'm actually I'm a romantic. In fact, a few days ago we were discussing it. I'm like, ah, it's so as if I'm getting more romantic than you these days. And I'm like, that's actually true. <laughs> but you were still arguing the fact that he's still the best. I'm telling you that you might not know, but he's actually the romantic quality. <laughs> so I shout out to you, my husband. I love you. Thank you for teaching me all of the, almost all of these points that I'm giving out today. I celebrate you. I love you so much. Before I go, I want to actually shout out a channel. I just I don't know, but I just it just came to my mind right now. This channel has been this lady has been someone that has been a, of a good. Um, she's been a very wonderful sister. Okay, and I just want to celebrate her today. Her name is Bukola. She vlogs at Gospel Inspiration Channel. Kindly of visit that channel. Look at the videos that are there. Celebrate her. Tell her you are from Mrs. Yax and. I just love you, Mookie. God bless you. Thank you so much for always coming by. I love you. <laughs> so I think I have come to the end of our video for today. Were you blessed by it? Do you like it? Do you have other points? Things that can actually spice up your romantic life for Christians? Drop me a comment. Do you get? Drop me a comment. I'll definitely reply you. Do you get? So drop me a comment. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Share with your, your friends. Tell someone about the Yaks Family vlog. Eh? I'll be coming your way with another episode of Married Dogs, Switch Dogs. I remain yours faithfully. Liz Yo Ebola Yakubo, Mrs. Yak saying, stay safe, stay godly, stay amazing. Bye.